So this is a pen that caught my attention and I looked at the code and I thought that it could be compacted because look at these values, they're almost the same except one has an alpha of zero, the other one an alpha of one and they're kind of alternating. Uh, half of them have the first value with an alpha of zero, the other uh, half have the second value with an alpha of zero. And there are also some um, animations and these values here, these could be compacted to be generated in a loop. And the keyframes here, look, uh, like there's one that appears uh, twice. So we're going to remove that. And, but the first thing we're going to do is going to be stopping the animations. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's kicking uh, my fan in, which happens often when you have um, so many elements animated. Which is why I usually keep animations commented while I'm working on something, because um, it can get a bit annoying and distracting. So. Um, there are six of them, I still have one. And the next thing I'm going to do is going to be um, reducing the number of elements. Uh, so let's hit fork here. And now I've reduced the number of elements, but uh, they are rotated in 3D. So what we also need to do is change the rotation angle, which here it's done, if you do it like this with um, interpolation, this is like actually like concatenating strings and we're not going to do that. We're going to do multiplication uh, between the index and uh, the number of degrees, 10 degrees, which is a number with a unit just like we have in physics problems. And the next thing that we're going to do, um, we're going uh, to compact all of this. We're going to make a single color list um, of uh, these values in hex format. And um, the next thing that we're going to do is going to be we can collapse this and this as well and we don't need that and we can compact this uh, dotted and get rid of this line and now we add a loop Um, so we need uh, how many we have in a group and that's going to be group and that's going to be uh, the length of the color array list color list so this is going to be up to group n the number of rings in a group so what we're going to do is um, basically generate all these color uh, rules in a loop. And child, let's see if we can um, if I can do this in total in under ten minutes. I should probably be able to do it. Thinking. So that's going to be color. Um, and so from color list at index i plus one. And now that we've done this, we can get rid of all these. And um, let's get rid of these keyframes which are basically uh, switching the border color uh, from uh, this one to this one. 
from the first to the second in every case but we're not going to use these we're just uh, going to always default this one all right um now this one we're also going to bring it um in here And we're going to uh, to create so uh, we're going to here the number of rings is 18 the same as um, in the DOM and we're going to compute a base angle that's 180 degrees over the number of rings and um, here in this loop we go to n rings and child and here we're going to have um, this transform from here except we're going to have base angle uh, now we can remove this and we add a new set of keyframes fade to opacity zero going to add this animation here and one second it was two seconds initially but we're going to make this an alternating um, infinite linear alternate But they all fade at the same time, which is not what we wanted. So uh, for um, the um, even ones, and child to n, this means even ones. Animation delay, it's going to be minus one second. But we're going to replace this here. Um, T and T is the animation duration. T is one second. And we replaced it there. Now we bring it up to 90 again. This is up to 90. And um, now we uncomment this animation here, and we are pretty much done. And we've compacted all that. We went down to 60 lines of code. Alright, so um, that's it.